Okay, what we have here is a DV6103NR. This was the one that was uh, uh, sold by Best Buy on a Black Friday probably six or seven years ago. So it's a DV6000 series. Um, what it, it originally came in here came with a, a T1350 processor. It came with a T1350, which was a single core 1.86 gigahertz uh, processor. And I have swapped it out with a T7200. And it seems to work fine. I was not able to find any information about upgrading the CPU. Not really. Um, so it was kind of a gamble when I did it. To do it, you have to um, take the keyboard off, take this panel off, uh, then you take the LCD off, and there's another piece of plastic down here that you have to take off, and then you have to take off this, and then you have the base plastic and the motherboard, and then you have to take the motherboard off the bottom base, and then you have to swap the CPUs and then put it back together. So to do that, you have to pretty much take the whole thing apart. It took me, I don't know, an hour maybe, hour and a half. So, let me show you here. I got the information to compare the CPUs from cpuboss.com. Huh. Didn't boot up correctly. So here you see uh, the core T7200 2 hit gigahertz. Basically, this CPU is three times faster than what was in here. Uh, core, core to core, the T72 one core is about 40 times, 40 percent, 40 percent faster than the T1350. And then you add two of them. Um, that's about 300% increase. I guess the reason for that is instead of running at 1.86 gigahertz, it runs at 2, and it also has a 667 megahertz front side bus instead of the old 533. So I'm also wondering if um, I could upgrade my memory to. Right now I have the uh, 533 megahertz memory. So anyways, so it does work. I have been running uh, Boink, which is a distributed computing uh, software. And it's, it's been running the CPUs at 100% and it hasn't been unstable. So. Oh, also the uh, the new chip uses three additional watts, uh, 34 watt max, as opposed to the old 31 watt. And one switching CPUs on laptops, I think that's the most important thing is power dissipation. You don't want them overheating, so they have to be similar. 34, 31, it's pretty close. Also uh, on this heatsink, they had the metal heatsink, and then on top of that they had something that I had to remove and I removed that and installed the Arctic Silver heatsink compound so I had to do a little bit of modification to the heatsink 
But other than that, it should work. I'm assuming this works on all DV6000 models. Um, I did get a little bit of information to make an educational guess as to what CPUs I could put in the laptop. And what I did is I looked up the, uh, I guess, the basic DV6000 maintenance and service guide from HP. And in there, they will list, I guess, the system boards and memory and the part numbers of all processors used in all DV6000 series laptops. And in there, it'll, uh, it listed different CPUs that are used. Since my motherboard doesn't use AMD, I couldn't use these. Uh, sorry. It did have, it had, uh, I guess this one in it, this Intel Celeron. But uh, I checked out all these CPUs, and the best one looked like that one. So that kind of helped me decide what I was going to put in there.